everyone. So I got a new machine. I did um, record a video of um, revealing um, a reveal video, which was way better than that. And I don't know it was going to be this one, but my, uh, my movie was being a complete or so. Sorry for my language though. If I swear in the video, just don't mind it. But um, I got a new machine. It's sixteen hundred RPM. On the um, I did another. I tried to. My first reveal video um, was really good, but iMovie was being so bad while editing it, so it completely deleted the videos of how I um, I deleted um, it, that one, but I'm just going to do this one for just now, as it's just it's better than nothing, but I'm going to go right in front of it. It's a machine that I wanted for ages, and um, I wanted for at least like five four years and I finally got it so it's not the exact model it's 1600 rpm and it's a bit rare well not very rare but it's it's rare yeah but right five four we have to get down three two one a hot point WF860. I wanted a Pop Point WT960, but this is the closest I can find. It's a complete, it's a complete, um, really nice machine. Um, when I recorded the other one, I did it when, um, the display was on, but it, but that video got deleted because of iMovie. But, anyways, let's have just have a look around the machine. I will do hair um, washes in this soon. Well, not for just now, just to, just because, um, I need to do something with the holes, the fill holes, well, the drain holes, because I'm on hot points, and if you have your drain holes flat, all the water would leak out, and that's a really annoying, but if I just tape, and um, the drain holes to that bucket, I think it would do well, but anyways, so this is the hot point then, it is... The door is actually the drawer is actually quite it's cleanish, um, but it's oh it's kind of yellowed though, but it doesn't really matter. And then if I turn on my wait, I'll just um, do another video and turn off my yeah, flashlight. Inside the drawer housing, it's also cleanish. It's quite well kept, but except from the door seal, the door seal is mouldy. I'll put this back in, and there's masking tape on it. It's been there for ages, so I have to have to peel all that off which will be a complete pain in the arse but <sighs> it's quite stiff because of just how old it is and here's the LCD it, that needs a clean surprise that the rub the letters haven't been rubbed off so I think it's never been wiped that's why yep I'll have a look inside then so, <laughs> the door is clean, no, not very clean, but it's quite clean, but we would need to take this apart soon. And around here is there's a bit of grime, and the door seal is moldy, but I might buy some bleach tomorrow and use that. And there's, this is the drum, WMA drum. It's really nice drum, but yeah, it brings back memories as well from the old hot points I've had. One of my family members used to have a WT960 and I used to have a hot point WF541 and it used to be the same drum like this. I might buy new paddles for it as well, but I don't know. It's very quiet as well, but the bearings are a bit going. And yeah, need to give that all a wipe down. And it has its um, hot point sticker here. I won't show that the hot point sticker. A lot of people show it, but I don't want to show it just in case. Uh, yeah, it's quite clean, but door seal is the most um, cleanest. And I'll do a 90 wash in it soon. But it's not as mouldy as my Samsung. So yeah, so yeah, this is the new machine. It's a really nice one. It has to be the. When I try it, I think it might be the best machine I have had. So, 
I might show the back. Oh, and also when I just saw the back, I just realized that there's um, a hot and cold fill, two of them. I never knew that. Well, uh, I think the WT960 never had it, but yeah. Um, WFM860P and that bit. And the transit bolts thing still there. And I don't know what that is. The point. Before using your machine, ensure that um the ensure that the transit bolts are removed at the back. Yeah, right. It's about transit bolts and everyone knows about transit bolts. Yeah, this is the plug as well. Yeah. It's a bit rusty as well, but we'll get it. we'll deal with it soon. I'll get it. I'll paint it. How to I've watched a video how to um get away rust from the washing machine but yeah I need to check the motor as well. I'll unscrew that at the bottom bit soon. But yeah, new machine. Uh, it's gonna be the best machine I've ever had, honestly. I love these. I love Ultimas. But Ultimas and um, even new ones, like newer ones are the best. But this one, the best Ultima. It doesn't really beat the, it doesn't, it kind of beats the Ultima S lines as well. They're really nice machines. Uh, I've, rec yeah, the, everything works. The display hasn't been left on, never been left on when it's ended. Um, and you can tell by that because it's so bright. Yeah. So I love this. I have to clean all that soon, so I might be restoring that. So yeah, so that's the new machine, and the kick plate um, at the bottom has been taken off because well, it was coming off while I was moving it in here. But yeah, nice machine. Mm -hmm. Right, I'm gonna leave the drawer and the. And yeah, and it does. It beats the Samsung. I tried it on the full spin. It's quiet, but the bearings are sort of going. But I think it's the ninety wash I need to do. The shocks are not. No, they're nearly gone, but they're not too bad. And the machine isn't that level as well because it, the way how it's sitting on the ground, there's a line there and it goes a bit down so it's not that good but there's gonna be washes in it soon and when I do a washes I might move it over here because so that um, the holes will be it the extension lead in that um fits it um reaches this no problem but yeah I have to see if the holes will I think the um hoses will fit and then that could be the draining bit. Also, and I realise that um, the hose has been chopped off. Why well, that? So yeah, it's a lovely machine. I keep saying that, but it's a lovely machine. I've been um, trying to find these for ages. It's like, well, I think I've started looking at trying to find them since like 2018 because um they were like. Because back in 2018, they, these um, on YouTube were not really um, shown. So yeah, and lots of people don't really show these machines on YouTube that much anymore. But I won't really be recording Samsung as much as I used to be. and But I, I'll record this the most. So yeah. So stay tuned for washes. And I won't, don't request... I will do open door spins in this, but I won't be um, throwing stuff in it. I'll only, like, I will throw in, like, um, stuff that won't make it unbalanced. But I, I will do, like, open door spins and um, full spin cycles with clothes in it, as um, they are sometimes really popular on YouTube. So, yeah. Yep, that's the machine. Right. Right, you've seen all of it, so... Stay tuned for cycles in this, and bye. Oh wait, I, wait. I thought I was crying there, but wait. <laughs> no, it's just a bit of fingerprints. 
Okay, yeah. It's going to be the best machine I've used. Love it. You can might hear the bearings, but I think they will be fine after a 90 wash. But if the bearings are going, um, if the bearings um, are going, then it's not, not really a surprise as this is like an 18, um, 17 year old machine. It was either made in 2005, 2000. Um, six or two thousand seven, uh, or I could check if I check inside the machine. If, um, let's see if I can find the serial number somewhere. It doesn't really. It, this isn't the serial number. I can't really find it. But yeah, right. It's shown all of it. Right. So stay tuned for um, lots of videos of this and bye.